Hey everyone, I am Rabbi Khandalwal and I welcome you all to our Simply Learned YouTube channel. Today, we will talk about one of the interesting topics that are operators and expressions in C Sharp. But before we begin, let me tell you guys we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for a latest technological advancement, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon below so you never miss an update on Simply Learned YouTube channel. Now, without any further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. We will begin our session with what are operators. Then we will learn about what an expression is. Now we will dive into the types of operators. Then we will discuss the precedence in operators. Finally, we will wind up this session with an implementation in a code editor. Let's get started with what a operator is. Operators are symbols that can be used to perform operations on operands. An operand can be a variable or a constant. Operators are used to manipulate variables and values in C Sharp. C Sharp has several operators that are classified based on the operations they perform. Now, let's discuss expressions. An expression in C Sharp is made up of operands that are variables, literals, methods, calls, and operators. An expression must have at least one operand but can have zero or more operators. An expression statement is an expression followed by a semicolon. Now let's have a look at the types of operators. There are five types of operators in C Sharp. First, assignment operator, then arithmetic operator, relational operators, logical operators, and quaternary operators. Now, let's discuss them in detail. First up, assignment operator. When assigning values to variables, the assignment operator that is equal is used. And here's the syntax for that. Next, arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are used to carry out the arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And here's the syntax for that. Next, relational operators. When comparing two operands, the relational operators are used. If the relationship is true, then the result will be true. Otherwise, it will be false. And here's the syntax for that. Then, logical operators. To perform logical operations, logical operators such as AND and OR are used. Based on Boolean expression, the logical operators return Boolean values true and false. Logical operators are used in decision making and loops. And here's the syntax for that. At last, urinary operators. The urinary operator, unlike other operators, have only one operand, and here's the syntax for that. Now, let's discuss the operator precedence. In an expression with multiple operators, the operators with the highest precedence are evaluated first. When an operand is between operators of the same precedence, then the order of operation is determined by associativity with the operator. Now, let's try these operations in a code editor. Let's start by creating some variables. So int x, comma, y. Let's try the assignment operators first. So we can assign an operator by using equal sign. So we will assign the 10 value to x. Let's try to print it. x equals 2, then we will do plus x. Sign 
simultaneously we can also assign the value of x to y by the same method. Let's try to print y as well. So console dot write line y is equals to plus y. Let's run this. First save then execute. As you can see it is getting x is equals to 10 and when we define y is equals to x then it is showing y is equals to 10. Now let's try to do arithmetic operations. For that we will need another variable called res. We will delete these operations or rather we will comment them out. And we will give y equals to uh, 5. Let's try the addition operator. So res will be equals to x plus y. We will now try to print it. Console dot write line. So x x plus y here plus and red. Let's do the same thing. Let's delete these comments to make the make it easy. Let's copy the last two statements and paste it. Now we will change plus to minus. and multiplication and division. Now let's try to print it. First save it and then we will print it. Here as you can see the x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5. So x plus 5 it is printing 15 and x minus y is printing 5. Then x multiplied by 5 that is 5 multiplied by 10 is 50 and then x divided by y that is 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now Let's try relational operators. So first we will define a boolean variable that will be value 1 now we will store the value 1 is equals to embraces x double equals to y. Now 
this tax if the x is equals to y. Since x and y are two different numbers that is 10 and 5, so it will show as false. So to print that, console dot write line x greater than x equals to y will return plus value 1. Let's try the same operation. For the cases of greater than and less than. Let's save this and run it. As you can see, the x is equal to equal to 5 is returning false because 10 is not equal to 5. For the x greater than y, that is 10 is greater than y, so it returns true. And vice versa, it will return false for the less than terms. Now, let's comment these out as well. Now, let's try logical operators. So we will again define the x equals to 30 and y is equals to 10. First we will try the OR operator. Let's clip this out. paste it here so that we can use this value 1 operation again. So for the OR operator we will use value 1 is equals to if x is equals to equals to y And the OR, op OR is a vertical dash or X is greater than 5. So in case of X, either one of the condition must be true, then it will return true. So since X is equal to equals to Y is false, which we have already done that here. So now, the x, if x is greater than 5, then it will also return true. So, to check that, we will print console.writeLine value 1. Let's do it for the AND operator as well. So, the value, let's copy paste it. This time, we will remove these vertical dashes to AND AND operator. Let's save it and run it. As you can see, in the first case, we are using an OR operator, in which 
either one of them is required to be true to get a true answer since x is greater than 5 is a true answer so it is giving us a true answer but in case of the end operator both of them needs to be true for it to give true since x equals to equals to y was false which we have checked in our relational operation experiment so now this will give us the false answer now let's try and do urinary operator let's take a different variable so int z equals to 10 comma a value 2 and a boolean that is flag which is equals to true now first try so value 2 is equals to plus z Now we will print this dot right line. Plus Z is equals to comma plus value two. Let's copy paste them and change these values. Now we will use minus z here also minus z. Another operation where we will use double plus. Now we will use minus and for the last one we will use console dot right line and we will print the negation of flag since flag is defined as true so this one should show flag as false let's run this as you can see it is showing the plus z equals to 10 and minus z is equals to negative 10 the plus plus z increment the value by 1. The minus minus z decrement the value by 1. So since plus plus z was already 11, so minus minus z just decreased it to 10. Now the flag is showing true because I haven't used the negation symbol here. So now let's add the negation symbol and save it and then run it back. Here now it's showing the false. Now let's get back to our slides. And this was all for today's session. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you like this session, then like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there! If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.